Howdy peeps, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another kit review, but this time something a little bit different. Um, now as some may, most of you may know about Warhammer 40,000, the various war games, um, and equally know that you know, Games Workshop pricing can leave a little to be desired. Um, generally quite high. What I got yesterday is the Tau Hammerhead Gunship. Uh, obviously, it's in a 28mm scale. And it's quite an old model for Games Workshop. I think it's 2001, so it's come down in price quite a bit considering the size of the kit and what you get in the box. Now, as scale modelers, We'll put it straight, be a good boy, there we go. What we have to remember is this is a wargaming piece. It's designed to be easy to build and to be picked up and handled a heck of a lot. Bashed about, have dice thrown at it, that kind of thing. So you're not going to get delicate filigree parts and grab rails and it's going to be relatively bomb proof as a construction. Now, as you can see, very nice box art, picture of the finished model. She comes with two options, the hammerhead or the, oh, lift out as you can see, Skyray dropship, which might, still not determine which one I'm going to do yet. Similar gump on the sides, oh, actually get it in shot, just general pictures on the sides of the box. And on the back, we have the painting scheme, the standard towel, and the grey version. Uh, contains one model of that bump. Colour callouts in Citadel colours, uh, which we're going to, in my case, will be totally and utterly paying no attention to. Anyway, let's see what we actually get for our money. In this case, due to a bit of good fortune, I think I paid £15 for this. Um, <laughs> well, someone else paid 20 but you know. Um, so, in the box we've got instructions, sprues, uh, for a Games Workshop kit, that's a lot of plastic. And somewhere tucked in the bottom of the decals. So, first of all, let's take a look at the, de the disruptions. Basic black and white photocopy type, not a photocopy, but you know. Explanation of the symbols, where you've got a choice, close up, blah blah blah. The two different versions, and it tells you which stages to follow. The tools required glue, glue, cutter's knife. Yeah, we're going to be using a few more than that. And as it's an older kit, the instructions aren't that great. So there's no numbering on the parts. Just grab, shut up compressor. Just grab these bits and stick them together. But they're easy enough to find. It's not, not what you'd call a high parts count. And then the second page of the instructions and the picture of the built up. Uh, hammerhead gunship. Then the next set's putting together the Skyray gun, missile defence gunship. That step's basically identical, but then you've got the different weapon systems that mount on it, giving you options and things for different weaponry. And again, another finished picture. So, woo, not a huge amount there, but enough to get going. Now, when it comes to the plastic, it is a very, very nice quality styrene. There is nothing at all to complain about regards quality here, you see, 2001. Yes, the detail is quite clunky, but it's all very crisp. And from past dealings with 
uh, Games Workshop kits, the fit will be very good. Might need a few wipes of filler, but you won't be battling large gaps. And again, no, there's no interior, so the eject spin marks aren't a problem. But as you see, it's thick, solid, dense plastic. It's not fragile or brittle. I mean, it's even the sprue's bomb proof. So yes, you are paying quite a bit for what you get, but what you get is very good quality. The next sprue, which contains more random ancillary and strange parts, this is 2006 sprue, so I think this might be the uh, Skyray parts. As you can see, we've got uh, sensible size panel lines, they're not too thin or too shallow. I mean, okay, they're quite wide and deep, but you know, this isn't a scale model. And yes, the parts again all crisp, cleanly molded. There is zero, zero issues with the molding. And again, the same high quality plastic. What ejector pins there are are either very shallow or in places that you're not going to see. That's zero, zero flash. Nothing whatsoever on these. A few minor scuffs because they don't actually bag the parts or bag the sprues in the boxes. They're just rattling around loose. This, I'm guessing, will be the uh, hammerhead. As this is another 2001 sprue. This being the main gun. Um, as you can see, it's quite a large weapon. Again, not massively de detailed, but the detail that's there is good, solid. Easy to pick out with a wash or a dry brush. All the edges are crisp and clean. No, it's, it's a miniature. It's designed for wargaming. So it's what you're going to get. Another large sprue which contains the main body of the vehicle. The underside. Rear hatch. I'm guessing rear main uh, plate. And turret interior parts and the upper surface on this side which again we can see same levels of detail same levels of crispness no well, I say no flashes a tiny little bit on this just around the edges of these parts here but again that's more seam line than flash so we'll forgive that random bit of black sponge Again, good solid kits. Now, I don't actually play the game anymore. I used to donkeys, donkeys years ago. Um, but these days, when we're all busy building scale models and we're going to try and match exact paint colours and colour schemes and decal call outs and realistic weathering and all this kind of stuff, sometimes just breaking out some random sci fi stuff. Just brings back the mojo. Um, the Bandai Star Wars kits. The amount of people I know built one of those just to bring back their mojo, or just to break break free and let their creativity run. No, it's it's all good. I mean, I will be painting this in. I'm not entirely sure what colour yet, but uh, my usual definition of it is funky shit. Um, excuse the French it will probably be candies and pearlescence and iridescence and shimmers and god knows what anyway this brew we have the landing gear some random hatches and stuff whatever they are and we have a pilot or crew figure which we turn them over and then on Actually, this camera should focus on its own anyway, if I bring him up nice and close. You can see the detail on the body. Again, a bit heavy, and cr but very crisp. Easy to paint. And being a towel, got a slightly strange face, but they all do. Um, 
Uh, we've got an, uh, another one of the main weapons and some sensor spines and that kind of stuff on here. But again, solid. Oh, shut up, compressor. <coughs> That'd do. Um, excuse me, uh, where was I? But yeah, again, no, solid man strength screws. We also get. Uh, and this is the only real disappointment in this kit at the moment is the clear base which is scratched the buggery and has a big chip out of it and on that side which you might be able to see but again it's probably been kicking around in the box for quite a few years so you know, these things are going to happen I'll probably paint that anyway so it's you know sand sand whatever that is out and just paint it black you see a red door, you want to paint it black. See it. And last but not least, the decals. Now, yes, they are somewhat shiny. Um, uh, it doesn't actually tell you where they go, they don't have numbers or anything. You can kind of make it up or just <coughs> look at the box art. And, you figure out where they go, I probably won't use many if any of them. But I, yes they are a bit shiny, but they are thin, sensible amount of carrier film, and I know from experience they bed down really well and do exactly what you want. I say they're all I always say they're all in register, but they're all one colour pretty much, so it's not a, not an issue. There's some quite funky little decals on there, which will uh, tart up the model in the end. So, this has been my review of the Warhammer 40k Tower Hammerhead Gunship. Um, as I say, it's different to a scale model. You're not going to get the levels of finesse. You're not going to get the delicacy the accuracy, whatever. Um, I mean, it's hard to do something accurate when it doesn't really exist. Um, but what you end up with is a solid model that goes together easily, fits really well, and you can go to town on the paint. You can do whatever the hell you like. And no one can complain. Um, well, you know, a few people who are staunch Warhammer players might, um, but you know, they complain about you using an airbrush, they think that's cheating, so there you go. But on that nice, quick, and easy one today, just to show you what you actually get when you buy a Games Workshop kit, in case you're just in the boxes and gone, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, have fun, build a model, rock on. Bye-bye.